Hi, it's Seth with APS EdTech. Recently, one of our tech activities was building a snowman in Tinkercad. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to print those out in multiple colors using Cura as your slicer. Let's go take a look. We're going to use this little snowman template that we made in Tinkercad to show you how to print in different colors and how to program that in Cura. So once this is on the build plate in Cura, we need to go ahead and, and slice it. Once it's sliced, we're gonna click on preview here and we need to go down the layers and figure out where we stop adding what's gonna be white for the snowman and where we wanna start adding black for the buttons. We come down and we're watching the layers over there. Okay, so right in there somewhere, we're gonna stop adding the white down. Okay, so white is added there. White is added there. Looks like no white is added there. You can see nothing changed in the lines right here, like it did a couple layers before that. So the change, there's a change, there's a change, there's a change. No change added there, so we're gonna do that one. That's layer 38. It's gonna be the first layer we print in black. And then if we want to zoom in some and watch when we stop adding to the eyes and buttons, then as we click over here and go up, we can use the arrow buttons to go up and watch. We're still adding buttons, adding buttons and eyes, buttons and eyes, buttons and eyes, buttons and eyes, buttons and eyes. That's, there's a layer we're adding buttons and eyes and one more. There we go. So that's the first layer right there that we're not adding anything to the buttons and eyes. That is 53. So when we print this, we're going to want to do filament changes at layers 38 and 53 which we come up here in extensions in Cura. We're gonna click on post-processing and modify G-code. In this that pops up, we're gonna add a script. And in here, we're gonna add a script for filament change right here. And right here, it's gonna tell us at what layer should color change occur. This will be before the layer starts printing. So that's why we wanna make sure we know where everything's at. And we said we would do color changes at 38 comma 53. So now when I close this, I have this little guy over here. We have to re-slice it. And now with the new slice, it's going to do a color change or a filament change from my Prusa at layers 38 and 53. I hope that helps. Go have fun. I hope that tip was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get new videos every week. And if you have anything else you want to see, let us know in the comments.